Okay. Welcome everyone. Today is July the 27th, 2024. I just got back from town and I want to show you what I got and the prices so you can get a better understanding of what it's like to live here and maybe compare it to your prices. Before I do that, I just want to point out for people that don't know, I don't have a car. Instead, I, you know, I got a house and I'm trying very hard to fix it up because the market is so great right now. It increased like 300% in the last few years. So to afford to live, I'm trying to fix my house up a bit more so I can sell it for a good profit. And that will allow me to buy some land for a little bit further south and closer to the water, hopefully on the water, and then build a small house and be able to have money to live on because it is extremely hard to afford to live, especially if you're trying to improve your health and and be healthy. It's it's hard because food can cause a lot of health issues. So it is extremely important to buy as healthy as possible and grow as much as you can. But unfortunately, I'm limited right now. And I do have to buy a lot of stuff at the store. I am trying to grow what I can, but it's hard for my circumstances. So I still have to buy stuff at the store just like many of you. And I just want to show you so you can get an idea. And maybe it will help people understand why it is so hard to live, um, if you don't already know. But, so, I don't have a car, so I can only go to the store in town when I can pay someone. And there's only one person so far that I can pay to drive me into town. So, when I can go into town, I have to make sure that it's worth it. I have to make sure I have enough money to get what I need and, like, a month's worth of food to put in the freezers and stuff. So when I go into town, I need to make sure I get as much as I can with whatever money I have. And it's about, it's a long drive. It's, I don't know, like maybe 40 minutes or so, 45 minutes to get into town and then coming back and that's highway driving. So, you know, it costs money. It's, it's expensive for gas. So, you know, I have to make the trips worth it. I have not been to a grocery store in at least seven weeks, so I haven't had fresh fruits, vegetables, none of that. And I also completely ran out of cat food several days ago, and so they've been eating dog food, which they're perfectly happy with. But anyways, so I went into town. I did not get everything on the list, but I at least got most, and I have enough to get by until I can go into town again. But I have to have money to go into town, so it may be a while. So I just want to show you some things I got and the prices so you can um, see. Now, normally I don't buy prepackaged stuff, but um, these were 50% off and I'm working really hard outside trying to get my garden in and I have a lot of projects going on. I mean, my house is like just a huge work in progress too. So uh, at 50% off, I decided, you know what, for $2.50, I will just buy these and you know have two today two tomorrow and then two the next day and um you know it just it saves a lot on me so i did get these they were two dollars and fifty cents each and they're just mini green salads one is a mini caesar and the other one is a mini cob and then there's this one here that was 50 percent off this one is a caesar it's larger it was seven dollars and then half of seven dollars but they're really good for wraps to make a quick sandwich so i normally don't get them but when i see 50 percent off i treat myself <laughs> so saves me a lot now the greek yogurts the expiry date is august 25th and it's about a month from now and they were on sale so i got them i only buy one kind I, I love black cherry, but what I learned about these is that, let me show you. So there's a lot of different flavors, but they all have a different percent milk fat. This is 9% and this is the most delicious. When I get the other flavors, every single one of them is either zero or like two or one. It, they're very low, low, low fat. And it's very thin, kind of watery. So I personally don't like the low fat ones. And 
So they only have one of the regular, which is 9%, and it's in dark cherry, which is my favorite. So I got these. I don't like yogurt, but I will eat these. And it's just gives a little bit of probiotics. I know it's not healthy and I don't want to drink, eat or drink dairy, but until my garden comes in and I can make my own ferments and all that kind of stuff, you know, I just make the best of what I've got. So I got those and those were, let me check my receipt here. Uh, Greek yogurt is... <laughs> I know they were three, four, I had twelve dollars and something cents, but I have a fairly large receipt here, so I have to check and see where they are here. And I don't even see them. So that's interesting. Oh, here they are. Okay, so on my receipt here it was three for twelve dollars and seventy-five cents, and that's our sale price. So it was three for twelve seventy five, um, and then okay, so it's three for twelve seventy five. But if you have a PC Points um, card, which is just a store a grocery store points card, you get a discount. So it's three for twelve seventy five. I got six of them, and I got four dollars and fifty cents off. Okay, this is really hard to understand because it says. Three for twelve seventy five came to twelve seventy five. Then it says three at twelve seventy five, but it says fourteen ninety seven. So maybe the regular price is fourteen ninety seven for three, but as a member you get it for twelve seventy five. That sounds right. I am telling you, the way they do these grocery receipts are ridiculous because they don't really make much sense. Anyways, let's go over here to sour cream. That is another thing. You know, it does have some probiotics in it, and I like raw vegetables, cucumbers, peppers. So I'll mix a little bit of seasonings in it and just make a little dip. I don't use ranch dressing or anything like that. So I also like to make, I also like to make banana bread with sour cream, you know, things like that. So I got my sour cream. I only buy organic. Um, I try to stay away from dairy, but if I do buy dairy I don't care what the cost is I will only buy organic or I won't buy it these are five dollars and 29 cents each for one um, so I got four to put in the refrigerator and mushrooms just that one pack of mushrooms and they only have organic they didn't they don't carry any other um, option for mushrooms but organic which is perfectly fine but it was three dollars and let me see where is my mushrooms on here oh three dollars and 49 cents for mushrooms just that one little pack now chicken i try you know i would love to buy farm fresh meat that is naturally free range grown and processed but i don't have an option here i don't know anybody that sells chicken and i haven't had the means to build my chicken coop and a run you have to build things here a certain way or animals will eat them so it's expensive to build a proper coop and run here it has to be fully fenced on the ground and the roof and the sides everything so I do have to buy meat at the store so I personally don't really I don't really eat much of any meat but I make sure my dog has meat I don't buy canned dog food ever I don't buy canned cat food but I was able to get this chicken 50% off, so I'm gonna cook this up today or tomorrow for her, and it'll last a few days, and it makes, um, I cook it up with vegetables, and it, I really make it stretch. But I just wanna show you the price, and this is not organic. This is a regular, plain, normal chicken. It is $11 per kilogram, and it was $17.07, and this is a tiny little chicken. It's you know, there's not much. So the net weight, it was 1.552 kilograms. You know, it's just a chicken. It's nothing special. $17. Now I got it half price, even half price. That's ridiculous. I, it's still expensive, but you know, that's the price. Then I did get, let me see here. So I was able to get, I don't eat garlic and I have good reason for that. 
but I know that it's a pest repellent, so I like to grow it all around my porch, so it'll help keep mosquitoes away. One of the things I absolutely hate is garlic. So, I'll just check in here to see where is my gar garlic, oh, ginger root, okay, fresh garlic. So, all of these here, this cost me $3.63. And so I'm gonna get lots of garlic plants out of that for my pest repellent. And then I did get a ginger because I wanted to do something with it for health benefits. And this piece of ginger cost me $1. And let's see where, oh, fresh ginger, $1.58. So that wasn't too bad. Meat is expensive and I cannot find organic or anything like that. This is just regular meat. I wanted to chop this up into small cubes, put it in the freezer. And then that way, you know, I can just take a few pieces out and then roast it in the oven with vegetables for my dog. For Because I, I make, it's actually cheaper and so much healthier to make my own dog food. And I can make it stretch. And, you know, her health is my top most important priority it has always been since she'll be 13 in October so um I like I said she doesn't she's never had canned dog food so I'm going to cut this all up into small pieces and it'll make a whole lot of meals but if you want to know the price of eye of round roast 1907 so it's 1981 per kilogram and it's 0.96 kilograms 19 dollars and two cents it's nuts now, I, last year I was able to buy some beef from a local farmer that took his cow in for processing, but it was the last one he had. He was getting out of the business. So I can't buy it fresh around. I can't find anyone anymore. I don't buy fish, but my dog loves it. And once in a while, I will get her fish for a snack. These were all 50% off. So if you look at that, $5.02. I mean, it was like, about two dollars and fifty cents, fifty-one cents for a fish. So I'm putting these in the freezer so I can switch it up. And one day she can have fish, another day she can have chicken, another day she can have some roast and vegetables. So you know it, the prices are fairly reasonable. And at fifty percent off, those are going in the freezer. I hardly ever buy ground beef because I try not to eat it because it's not fresh from a farmer. But you know. I'm limited and I just got to make the best of what I can. So I like to make cabbage vegetable soup and it stretches, it goes very far and it's just loaded with vegetables and water and seasoning and tomatoes, cabbage. And I usually will fry up a little bit of ground beef and put that in there. It's a little extra protein. And I also like to make like tacos and stuff. So I'm gonna cut, divide this up and put it in the freezer so it makes several portions. But this is the price of extra lean ground beef, 1982 per kilogram. So look at these prices, you don't even get that much. It's not a value pack, it's just like a regular pack. So um, yeah, meat is expensive. However, this is what uh, this is why I was only able to get half of what was on my grocery list. I never got my bananas, I never got the rest of my vegetables I wanted, but it's for good reason. I never see turkey on sale ever here unless it's a couple cents off. And I just happened to find the turkeys were about they were almost 50% off. I saw a sign for the frozen turkeys and it said it was a dollar and 20 something per kilogram off. So it made them $1.77 per kilogram. Now, the, this size turkey is usually like 30 bucks so or more. And so when I saw these, I started thinking, wait a minute, this is better than buying chicken. So at 50% off, you know, I could buy these and put them in the freezer and I could save a lot of money because you saw this little chicken here $17 for this little chicken. That's why it's, you know, it's hard. I can't, you know, feed my dog as much of the good stuff as I like, and I really have to make it stretch. But I could get, you know, this turkey here for $17. I found a whole bunch that were like $17.83, $17.02. So I'm able to get a whole 
turkey. I could have got the large ones, but I'd rather have like six small ones than three large ones because it's easier to cook in a crock pot or like a roaster. But I mean, look how, look at this. This is a big turkey and it was the same price as this little chicken. So, um, yeah, so my money went to stocking up on turkeys. They go, I, they stretch so far. So I cook them slow all day, roast them slow in lots of water, make really good broth out of it. And then um, what I do is I will pick, I'll take the turkey, pick all the meat off, put it aside. And then I strain the broth and then I put the broth in the crock pot with vegetables. And then I mash up the vegetables in the broth. And so it's kind of like a little bit of like a stew-ish kind of texture. And then I add the shredded turkey, mix it all up, and that's how I make my pet food. So um, I'm saving a ton of money getting these turkeys half price. So those are going in the freezer. I'm very, very happy that I found that. That is a huge money saver. Um, it's still expensive. You know, I know what the prices were like in the U.S. because I used to shop there all the time before I moved. And, but here, it is everything is so expensive. And even when it's on sale, it's still expensive. But it's still cheaper than paying the regular prices now. So I did get six of these turkeys. I picked all ones that were $17 and something cents. And carrots. This is a three-pound bag, and they're $4. $4 for a three pound bag. That's a lot of money. They used to be a dollar, like 97 cents, $4. So I got three of those. I got cabbage. Now my cabbages, let me just double check here how much my cabbages were. Um, let's see. So each cabbage was Fresh green cabbage. One was three dollars and thirty-four cents. The other was three dollars and sixty-six cents. And I am trying to grow my own, but it's going to be a couple months before I can actually get some cabbages to harvest. But I wanted that for my cabbage soup. Okay, look at this. One stalk of celery. You know, nothing special. Just not organic. Nothing like that. This was four dollars for one stalk of celery. These here were $2 each, two bucks for green onions. Yes, I am growing green onions, but it takes a while to grow. $4 for green onions. I am gonna cut the bottoms off and plant them and at least start getting something, even though they're not organic and stuff. But I am going to try and regrow them. Look at the roots. So I am gonna put them in water and then replant them today and see you know, um, if I can get them to you know, just keep growing and hopefully they'll be okay until all mine come in. Now, this here is another reason why I planted over 30 pepper plants. This here is six green peppers. There's one that's a decent size. The other one, I mean, look at how tiny this one is. I don't know if you can see this, but this is a tiny, tiny little pepper here. Oh, maybe you can't see it, but you know, they're not large peppers. This is six peppers, 2.5 pounds, and it's $8. $8 for one pack of peppers. They used to be $3. Then we have cucumbers. They're two fifty for one cucumber, but if you buy a, a pack of three, it was $5.50. So I got that and some peppers to snack on, but I I actually really wanted to get a lot more to put in the fridge to last, but I just, I couldn't afford it um, with the turkey prices and cat food and stuff. So this here is California blend. So it's a mix in, of cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. And it looks like green beans as well, I'm not sure. But I like to cook that and just eat it with rice. So I just make some plain Bismarck rice and I'll just eat that with, um, with my rice. So this here was 15, oh wait, sorry. It was, set, it was $8 and then I got two of them. So it was $16 for the two, but $8 just for 
one bag. It is the two kilogram bag, but still $8 is really expensive. And then um, for milk, I don't drink milk, but I do need milk for a lot of my cooking. So I'm just trying to find my milk price here because it's not showing. I do know they are expensive. So anyways, um, I get the organic milk. So here we don't have gal. Well, okay. You can buy gallon, but not an organic. So they, they actually do sell milk in the gallons, but it's just regular milk. And again, when it comes to dairy, I am very particular. And if I can't get organic, then I just don't buy it and I do without, but I need to use it for my cooking. Like when I make, um, like homemade bread, cause I don't buy bread, homemade bread or other things I need milk just for this one bag of milk it is $13.37 $13.37 it used to be eight dollars so it's four liters and it, it's divided into three plastic bags so that's just how our milk is here but um 13 for one so I got two of them and that's it for food and then I will show you over here. So cat dry, I buy dry cat food. I make my own wet, like I give them natural food. They eat, they love scrambled eggs. They love whatever my dog eats, they, they eat it. They were raised on you eat whatever healthy food I make you. And so they're happy. But I do make sure they have dry food for nutrition and also to snack on. And because it's expensive to feed them natural stuff every day. Um, I, do, I always make sure I buy grain-free, corn-free, soy-free pet food because the healthier they are, the longer they'll live, and the cheaper your vet bills. And I need to make sure all my rescues are healthy and, you know, they're doing well and I care about, like, their health. So it is expensive. The equivalent of this food, if I were to buy name brand at PetSmart or anything like that, it is around 50 to $60 for one bag, and it's only five kilograms. So I found at the superstore here, the grocery store, I get seven kilograms of this cat food, and the ingredients are very similar, if not better, than the expensive name brand ones at PetSmart. So this here, it, was, it used to be $26 a few, two years ago, then it went up and up. Now it's $37 for one bag. $37. No wonder I'm always broke. And so, you know, I go through at least one bag a week with my rescues. So it takes a hit, but, um, they had three on the shelf today. So I grabbed all three. So I at least know if I can't get to the store anytime soon, then I'm okay for at least maybe three weeks. Hopefully I can stretch it for three weeks. Um, so Again, seven kilograms as opposed to like five kilogram bags that are like 50 and $60. So I buy the store brand, but it is much, much, much better quality than um, all the other stuff. And that is, that's it. This, all just this and the cat food, $500. That's right. And to be honest, I was short. So I had to use my overdraft because I'm like 500 bucks for this. So plus, well, the cat food, 15% sales tax as well. Um, I know in the States, a lot of things they don't charge tax on, but they do here. So anyways, um, oh, I did buy two other things that were cheap. Everything was like 20 bucks and it's art. I had to put it in the freezer right away. So I did buy two other things and they're in the freezer, but that was only $20 total for those. So it's this plus, you know, $20 worth of groceries extra, $500. This is why I'm broke. This is why I'm like, I usually don't have fresh fruits and vegetables. You know, I try to make sure my, my pets are, are well fed. They have their food and you know, but like really 500 bucks, it's just ridiculous. I know I could have got regular milk, regular sour cream, but I would I just don't play when it comes to dairy and I mean I already got it for 50% off chicken 50% off fish and um, I didn't have to buy this here which I have I don't even remember the last time I bought store-bought um, ground beef and I don't really eat meat that much but you know I just um, I trying to make sure that I do have those foods in the freezer 
that are most important. So anyways, that is all I have here for $500. That's it. And the three bags of cat food. So yeah, the turkeys took a big, turkeys took a hit to my bill. So um, I didn't plan on buying them. I just couldn't pass up 50% off. So, um, you know, the, all the like the vegetables and the bananas that I had in my cart, I had to put them back because I didn't have more than that. So I only had $500. And, you know, it may seem like a lot, but I haven't been to a grocery store in seven weeks. So, you know, this, um, this money is like supposed to last a whole month for groceries and my pet food and everything. It isn't going to work, but I did the best I could with what I had. And, you know, I just leave it to God. I don't stress over it. I'm like, well, I'm happy I got what I got. Do the best I can to make it stretch. And, you know, something will work out and I will be able to go to the grocery store, <laughs> you know, again, hopefully soon and be able to get all the vegetables and the fruits that I wasn't able to get. Notice there's no fruit on this table. It was turkeys at half price or fruits and vegetables. So I chose the turkeys that saved me money in the long run and you know, I need to save money where I can. So, you know, I'm happy with what I got, but I'm also disappointed <laughs> because $500. I mean, it makes you cry, but, um, you know, I, I'm very grateful that I could get what I could get. And I also was able to make it safely to and from town, which is also that top most important thing is to have a safe trip there and back. And, you know, i now I just have to get this in the fridge and freezer and um, just detox my stress. <laughs> so, because that grocery bill, I'm like, what? How am I? I'm at $500 already. There's like nothing there. So, yeah, I was not too happy to have to put the rest of the stuff in my cart back. But that's just what it's like. And so, hopefully, this helps you feel a little better about your prices <laughs> because I know in the US it is cheaper. So, you know, when you feel really bad, like, oh my gosh, look at the prices. Well, look at our prices. So maybe that could motivate you a little bit. Like, well, at least I don't have their prices. So, um, you know, it's just, it's hard for everyone. And this is another reason it's so important to grow your groceries and do the best you can with what you got. So I'm making all this stretch the best I can. And yeah, my dog's over there. She's waiting. So um, I'm going to get her some vegetables to snack on. And, you know, I just, I'm praying for everybody. So I hope everyone's able to get the most that they can possibly get on their budget and hit the sales and ha be able to have freezers to put this stuff in. One of the most important things I ever invested in when I first moved here a few years ago was the freezers. I got two upright freezers on a Black Friday sale. Yes, we have Black Friday sales in Canada. And they're not that great, but sometimes you get deals. I found, I was waiting for deals and I found a upright freezer on sale, but any, there is also a special, if you buy more than one appliance, you get an extra percent off or so many dollars value. So I got two upright freezers on sale plus an extra amount off because I bought two at, during the Black Friday sale and free delivery. One of the best things I ever did. And I knew I was like, that was the top priority because I don't have a car. I can't just go to the store every week. I don't know when I'm going to go. When every time I go to a grocery store, I don't know when the next time is I'm going to go. So I have to buy a month's worth of yogurt. I have to buy, you know, turkeys to put in the freezer, meat for the freezer. I can't buy a week at a time. I have to buy just what as much as I can possibly buy and put it away. So... Um, you know, if you are able to invest in a freezer, you know, I really highly recommend doing that. And, um, it, if you shop properly, it should pay for itself very quickly in what you save buying sales and stocking up and even not having to go to the store all the time. So, you know, I'm just, I, I'm really praying for everyone and I want to see everyone have huge grocery hauls and for half the price of what it cost me for this. So keep doing the best you can with what you have, shop your sales, um, compare prices, use the digital coupons. There's apps. I use Checkout 51. It's a great app. I've got, I got a $20 check already from my digital coupons 
And so look for your digital coupons. If you have regular coupons, get those, stock up. And just tr try and think of it as a challenge. Like, let me see how many groceries I can get today for this amount of money. And, um, you know, try and make a stretch. And hopefully everyone can also encourage other people to do the same because it is important. So that's all I have for today. I got to get this in the fridge and freezer really quick. And I will see you on the next video.